Okay, question 8. A lorry is driven between London and Newcastle. In a simple model, the cost of the journey is C pounds when the lorry is driven at a steady speed of V kilometers per hour is C is 1500 over V add to V over 11 add 60. Part A says find according to this model part 1 the value of V that minimizes the cost of the journey and part 2 the minimum cost of the journey. A solutions based on graphical or numerical methods are not acceptable. So we're thinking differentiation. While we're here as well, part B says, by finding the second derivative, prove that the cost uh, is minimised at the speed found in part A. So in part A, we don't need to check that the value we find gives a minimum. We do that in part B. Okay, so... Let's write C in power form. So, part A, I, C is 1500 V to the minus 1 add 2 V over 60. No, it's not. Over 11. Add 60. So, at a minimum, the derivative dc by dv will equal zero. So we need to differentiate this. So, dc by dv is going to be minus 1500 v to the minus 2 add 2v over 11. No, sorry, just 2 over 11. Now for a minimum... DC by DV is equal to 0. So... Minus 1500 over V squared add 2 over 11. Really cool. Zero. Now we need to solve this for V. So let's add 1500 over V squared. So 2 over 11 is 1500 over V squared. So we can get uh, multiply through by V squared. 2 V squared over 11 is 1500. Divide by 2, v squared is 700, sorry, v squared over 11 is 750, times by 11, v squared is 8,250. Now, if we square root that, and go to one decimal place, we get V is 90.8 kilometers per hour. Okay, so that's A part one. A part two. I said that we want to find the minimum cost of the journey. So to do that, we substitute our value for V into C. So C C will equal 1500 over 90.8 
add two times ninety point eight over eleven add sixty. And that will give us at two decimal places ninety three pounds and three p. Okay, part B says prove by using d squared c over dv squared that the cost is minimised at the speed found in part A. So, if c is minimised, then d squared c over dv squared will be, if it's minimised, it will be greater than zero. So, dc by dv was minus 1500 over v squared add 2 over 11. Now, let's rewrite that. So, dc by dv is minus 1500 v minus 2, add 2 over 11. So, our second derivative is going to be, okay, so the minus 2 comes down and multiplies the uh, minus 1500, so that's going to give us 3000. Uh, v to the minus 3 and the 2 over 11 disappears. So that is 3000 over v cubed. Now we can see that when v is um, whatever we found it to be, uh, 90.8, we can see that d squared c over dv squared is greater than zero. You can substitute v in if you like, but we can see that it's going to be positive. So, C is minimised. Cool. Okay, then part C wants us to state one limitation of this model. So, let's think about um, the speed that we've calculated for the minimum cost. 90.8 so you're never going to be able to drive the whole way at 90.8 kilometers per hour that is ridiculously fast even more so for a lorry so if you say something like that it would be fine you could even mention that you're never going to be able to drive from london to newcastle at a steady speed because you're going to have to stop for traffic, traffic lights, etc. So, a limitation could be that you're not going to be able to travel at a constant, steady speed. Cool.